snack pack episode. So this is for February 2021. I see there's a bunch of people in the chat already. Welcome Otter JX Dambeast117. Alright, just getting my PC set up here so we can see what's going on. Hope everyone's having a great weekend so far. Alright, so while we're getting started here, I thought I'd show a couple of things that are coming up next month. So we're doing a one of every pack series. So we're going through Magic History, starting with Commander Legends, going all the way back to Antiquities. So I do actually have all the packs now, so we'll do a bit of a show and tell here. So we've got Urza's Saga. Urza's Destiny, Urza's Legacy, and this one was pretty hard to find, Portal Three Kingdoms, uh, they're pretty much as rare as Hen's Teeth at this point, we've got a pack of The Dark, Legends, a pack of Revised, which actually doubled in price after I bought this, so... Got in just in time, and finally, Antiquities. So stay tuned later in the month. So later in March, we'll be cracking those open, seeing what goodies we can find. And the price of those packs is ridiculous. Uh, let's see, who else we got? Welcome, Ruben Smith, Zenit Enzox, Dr. Raven, David Griffiths. Welcome. All right, so the patron snap packs, if you're not aware, this is where we put together a bunch of cards for patrons, and uh, that supplements what they get out of their packs each month. So, very cool. We've got the patron snap pack boxes here. So, I think we've got enough people here. Let's get started. So, we'll start off here with the foil only. So we start off with Caitlin Stark. Thank you for being a patron. Grabbing a foil here for Caitlin. All right. Oh, foil mythic. Omnath. Omnath. Omnath, locus of creation foil right off the bat. Nice. Let's fix that lighting a little. Get some nice shine to it. So there you are, Caitlin. I'm sure you'll enjoy that one. Next up, let's see, we have Sundance Kid. Thank you for being a patron, grabbing a foil. I wonder how many foil mythics I put in there. I don't remember putting that many. Okay, foil rare dragon's horde. Pop that in there for you. Next up, we have Janelle Mondragon. Thank you for being a patron, looking for a foil here. And we have a foil spirit can from, what is this, Ultimate Masters. Alrighty. Next up we have Raphael M. Thank you for being a patron. He's already got a shiny foil there. Let's add another one to his collection. And we have Blitz of the Thunder Raptor. It's like a heavy metal album. Complete with artwork right there. And next we have Irish Kustafan. Thank you for being a patron, grabbing a foil for you. What will it be? Oh, nice. A full art forest, also known as a Nixland from Theros Beyond Death. So pretty tasty indeed. What is your favorite full art land? Do you like those or you prefer something else? Leave a note in the chat or comments. Okay, Bermedian Belbachir, you're up next. Grabbing a foil. It is a Diamond Mare from M19. And we have Travis Taylor. And actually, yeah, that's a signed art card. Well done, Travis. Okay, so we'll see what else we can add to your collection this month. 
we have Skyclave Squid. Showcase from Zendikar Rising. And next we have a new patron. It is Jonathan Nissen. Thank you for being a patron. Got his signed Jackalope Herd there. Okay, we have Nature's Spiral. Oh, this is an old one from M10. So the 2010 core set. And finally here for the foil only, we have Boza from Down Under. Let's grab you a card here. You get a foil rare Thespian Stage. Nice. Okay, and you might notice um, some patrons, the videos won't air until tomorrow. So just close your eyes when you hear your name called if you haven't had your video yet. All right, I'm going to set these aside. Okay, so we do have a bunch more people. Holy moly. Okay, so who else do we have? Uh, welcome, Jada Sanders, Irish Coaster fan, Philip Gorse, Peter Sorensen, Daniel T, Louise Philippe Brochu, David Hoffman, and Katie. Whole bunch of patrons here today. So let's get started. I'll see if I can find all the... Uh, the uh, packs here. So the next part is where we put together these snack packs. So what I'm going to do is grab five commons, five uncommons, a foil and a rare or mythic. And we will see how we do. So let's get started here. We have Philip Gorse. Thank you for being a patron. So digging into the box. So one, two, Three, four, and finally one more. So that's five commons and then the uncommons. Uh, this live stream will be fairly long if you haven't been to one of these before. Usually running uh, an hour and a half to two hours. I think this month we've got almost uh, 60 patron envelopes to do. So Lots of viewing entertainment for the next couple of hours. Sit back, relax. Hope you're having a wonderful weekend so far. Okay, so Philip, what do we have? Starting off here with Expedition Skulker. Scrap Diver Serpent. Oh, ding, 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 ding. Wild card already. So it's wild card time, people. And this month, we're going to grab a standard pack here. This is the Coldheim set booster this month. So we'll crack that open momentarily. And Philip will get the rares, methods, foils, anything over a buck, along with the art card and anything from the list. Okay, we've got a Thraben standard bearer. Congrats, Otter JX, for the end of exam season. Code spell Cleric. Nim Shambler. Delightful. And what is that set symbol again? I should know. I opened a bunch of packs. I think this was one of the more recent uh, one of every pack things. Finn the Fangbearer. Very nice pull. That's a showcase version. Pyroblast. Mog Fanatic. Creature Goblin. Beanstalk Giant. Oh, Foil Mythic. Kenrith the Returned King. What? I didn't know I was so generous. And Mirren Crusader is your rare. Okay, so we had uh, Mirrodin was that set symbol. All right. And Kaldheim set booster coming right up. Yes, I have to agree, David. Goblins are the best tribe in magic. And if you disagree, leave a note in the chat or comments. Okay, so we've got this dude. Um, looks a bit like the Predator. What on earth? It is Frenzied Raider. Okay, then. We'll throw in... A, oh, so shiny. Snow-covered swamp. And we have a giant ox. Revitalize. Doomscar Oracle. Iron Verdict. Code Spell Cleric. So we've got a vote for Zombies and Slivers. Batter Shield Warrior. Frenzied Raider, there he is again. Usher of the Fallen. 
Reckless Crew is your rare. Okay, will we get another one? We get Vega the Watcher. I'll throw that in as well. Showcase, very cool. With a crown, love that artwork. Foilage and nothing from the list this time. Okay, so we'll set those aside. So congrats, Philip. Enjoy the pools this month. Okay, so let's go through here. See if we have... Oh, here we go. Here's one of the patrons. Next up we have Dr. Raven. Thank you for being a patron. And his vote is for angels and demons are the coolest tribes. Yeah, I did a, um, did anyone catch the Angel Deck Tech? I did a standard MTG Arena Deck Tech. And I think that turned out pretty well. Not a, not a, a tier one deck by any means, but I think it was pretty strong. So we've got votes for Elves and Minotaurs. So there's tons of elves lately. I don't think that they have had a few minotaurs. What did they have in Theros Beyond Death mostly? Had a couple of minotaurs. And vote for angels, demons, and dragons. Very cool. Yeah, dragons, I have to admit. Um, I loved when I was playing, what was that uh, around the time of Armanket uh, or Hour of Devastation? We had the Glory Bringers. Those were pretty cool. Okay, Dr. Raven, we have Snare the Skies, Dorthi Mind Ripper, nice artwork on that one, Craven Hulk, Coastal Hornclaw from 8th edition, Sculptor of Winter, Aromi of the Dead Tide, Dragon Egg, Spectral Steel, oh, extra rare here, Warrant and Warden split card, Crisis Incubation, Foil Marsh Flitter, nice, and the rare, oh, Gruesome Sadistic Sacrament, all right, what is that, uh, Rise of the Eldrazi, or no, is it World Wake, maybe that's World Wake, leave a note in the chat or comments if you know which one that is, so thank you for being a patron, Dr. Raven, okay, so next up, we have David Griffiths. Thank you for being a patron. Digging back in the box here. And what are people thinking of Strixhaven so far? So we're, we're getting the first couple of spoilers. We've seen the artwork uh, for the packaging and so forth. And also, I should say, Time Spiral Remastered. So spoilers for that have started. It seems like we just move from one set to the other. There's no real break between the uh, spoiler seasons, but keeps things entertaining. Okay, foil and a rare. And that one's a double-sided one, so we might have got a bit of a spoiler there. All right, David, we have Blade Tusk Boar. Molder Beast, distant cousin to the Scully Beast. Silverback Shaman. Kite Sail Scout, Razorfoot Griffin from 7th edition, Cardo's Vicious Return, Honden of Cleansing Fire, Rato Lantern, Thraben Heretic, Risen Sanctuary, a foil, Anara Wooded Familiar, and Needle Verge Pathway. And on the other side, we have the Pillar Verge Pathway. All right. those in there. Yep, so we've got people excited about Time Spiral Remastered. The old school borders. Yep, that's the thing. Okay, who do we have next? Let's see if I can find... Here we go. Here's another patron in the chat. We have Louise Philippe Brochu. Thank you for being a patron. Already doing pretty well with the Teferi there. Let's see what we can add to that. Yeah, I was wondering about that Ida JX, uh, if they would do four color schools in Strixhaven. But I guess not.
I guess it does get a bit more complicated designing cards when you you can be any of four colors. So that widens the scope, but it also means um, it's hard to distinguish the different guilds or not guilds. What do they call them? Schools. All right. We have Draugr Recruiter. Fiery Cannonade. Crushing Vines. Sailor of Means, Nature's Panoply, Turgrid Shadow, Virulent Swipe, Retigard Stronghold. Oh, we have a new Jackalope fan. Dr. Raven has become a channel member. Thank you very much, sir. Got his little uh, icon next to his name now. Very cool. We've got Svela, Ice Shaper, Troll Warrior. We have been trolled. Harvest a troll. <laughs> this is a troll pack, isn't it? Foil Realm Walker. Excuse me. Uh, that's a rare and handwear garrison. And on the other side, half a card, which I actually thought this was a uh, misprint at the time, but no, it's just the meld mechanic. So it melds with handwear battlements. So enjoy the pools there, Louise Philippe. The true highlight would have to be the Teferi, of course. All right, so next up. We have Dambeast117. Thank you for being a patron. And uh, I did hear Strixhaven. It was uh, interesting. People were speculating if there'd be like a Harry Potter tie-in. Um, maybe that fell through. Maybe that was just a rumor, but I'm glad it has not panned out unless they're yet to reveal that. And Katie says the Mystic Archive cards look nice. Yep, yeah, those are pretty cool. So those are like bonus cards. Um, not necessarily standard legal, but they have special artwork to distinguish them from the rest. So that ought to make the pack openings even more exciting. Okay, we have Open the Omen Paths. Goblin Trailblazer. Brainstorm. Archeomancer. Flayer Husk. Rune of Sustenance. Nico Defies Destiny. Geist Catches Rig, very cool artwork on that one. Emberwild Captain, extra rare. Tranquil Expanse, Foil Rare, Showcase, Whirlwind of Thought. And the rare is Ambush Commander. So this is one for the elf fans out there. Very cool. What is that, Lorwyn, I think? Arthur Muston says, thanks, Wizards has run out of ideas for sets. Yeah, they... They do seem to keep revisiting planes over and over, although um, Strixhaven, Kaldheim are new. Um, we've got uh, Innistrad coming up later this year, so that's like the third time. All right, setting these aside here. And there's five Commander decks with Strixhaven. Holy cow. Yeah, I hope they keep the prices lower on those because that really adds up if you can't decide or you run a YouTube channel and you want to open everything. Okay, so let's see here. Who else? Oh, here we go. Here we go. This is a very hungry person indeed. It is Otter JX. Thank you for being a patron. Digging into the boxes here. Yeah, I'm most excited about Innistrad. I'm curious that the D&D &D set sounds interesting. I'm wondering what they'll do there. And then, of course, oh, if you haven't heard the news, they've got this Worlds Beyond thing. They're going to Lord of the Rings and uh, Warhammer 40k. So those are supposed to be non-standard legal sets, um, like a, a tie-in thing, like a special set. So what are people thinking about that? I hear a mixture of outrage and interest. Okay, we have Bound in Gold, Trove Tracker, Strategic Planning, 
Doomed Traveller. Lizalana Bowmaster. Stolen Identity. Extra Rare. Return to Dust. Serpentine Basilisk. Etherize. Salt Road Ambushes. Foil Cord of Calling Rare. What? Okay, I don't know. I don't remember putting that in, but anyway. And Abundance from 10th edition. Some very nice Rebecca Guy artwork there. So pop those in there for you. Otter JX. And looks like people are excited about D&D in Estrad. If I can get these packs in, these cards in here. All right. Welcome, Mateo and Joseph Erlich, the sun-dried potato. Welcome. Finally not at work during this stream. And Otter JX, he's back for seconds. Like I said, very hungry. So if we can do even better on this second one. What? We have another Jackalope fan. Tommy, Tommy, ha! Welcome to the Jackalope army. Thank you very much, sir or ma'am, as the case may be. Okay, one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, and then a foil. And rare or mythic. Ruben says, Warhammer is my favorite game. Been playing it since I was 10. Don't want to risk ruining Magic and Warhammer with a collab. <laughs> I'm curious. It seems a bit odd to me. I would have thought they would do Age of Sigma rather than 40k, but maybe they really want to um, go different with the theme of the set, more science fiction-y type thing. We have Millennial Gargoyle. wonder if he's eating his avocado toast up there. Court Street Denizen. Satya Hoplite. Stone Fury. Mark of the Vampire, Trusty Pack Beast, Nuclevy, Nadir's Nightblade, Well of Ideas for an extra rare there, Culling Dias, Sundering Titan, another extra rare, Foil Stigma Lasher, and Bringer of the White Dawn is your rare. So enjoy the pulls there, Otter JX. Thank you once again for being a patron. And uh, let's see here, Matteo thinks it seems a bit forced with Warhammer. David's worried they'll wreck Lord of the Rings. Wasn't there already a Lord of the Rings TCG? Um, very different system, I think, than Magic. But uh, is that still going on or is that an older game? I'm not really up with uh, what Lord of the Rings is doing these days. Although there is a Amazon Prime TV series they're working on. So I wonder if that will be any good. All right, Katie W, you're up next. Thank you for being a patron. Let's dig into the box here. And uncommons. Whoa, we've got a foil catastrophe here and a rare or mythic. All right, Katie, what will we find here? The Warhammer could be silver border like My Little Pony. That's right, they did do Transformers and My Little Pony at one point. We have Pilfered Plans. Ginger Brute, the fantastic food golem. Zombie Cutthroat, awesome artwork on that one. Magma Spray, Glaring Aegis, Shepherd of the Flock, Colossus Hammer, Nemesis Trap, Nico Defies Destiny, Relic Axe, Foil Disenchant, and the rare is Extirpate. Some creepy artwork for you, Katie. And what is that set symbol? Is that... Is that Modern Masters, I'm going to say? I think that's the one. All right, enjoy, Katie. Next up, 
We have Ruben Smith. He is the monarch. Thank you for being a patron. The movies are based off the books, however poor the adaptation. It depends. Um, I, I consider, like, whenever they do a TV show or a um, movie based off a book, they're, they're doing different things. The book can offer more depth because it's going to take you, like, tens of hours to read, probably, and they can have an unlimited budget, effectively, and get into the minds of all the characters. The movie's a bit more limited, um, but, yeah, definitely more visual, spectacular is what they have to go for. But, yeah, I'm curious how that TV series will go. Joseph says, I wonder if Wizards will stop printing such powerful cards. I need to ban so many. I doubt it. They seem like they're, um, they've are they got this new design methodology where they're pushing the power as much as they possibly can. They want to make the sets really exciting, lots of powerful cards. All right, Ruben, we have Drown in Filth, Flutterfox, Ancestral Blade, Mortal Obstinacy. I think we can all agree on one thing, says Dr. Raven. That is, the movies are at least better than the games. Rampant Growth, Furnace Celebration, Split Card here. We have Breaking and Entering, Extra Rare. Celestial Purge, Selective Memory, another extra rare, another extra rare. What is going on? Mizium Mortars, Foil Kumbaj Witches from Seb McKinnon, Genius Work, sir. And Triskelion is the rare, this weird artifact creature. All right, was that Mirrodin? Was that the set? Okay, enjoy, Ruben. Pop those in there for you. Katie liked the Game Boy Advance games back in the day. I liked the Game Boy Advance, aside from the lack of a backlit screen. You had to get, like, some... Either play it under a light, or I had a little um, attachment thing where you could see the screen better. It was the only really annoying thing I found about those. Okay, next we have Peter Sorensen. Thank you for being a patron. Oh, there might be a spoiler there, Peter. If you miss that, don't rewind. Just just pretend you didn't see it. It'll appear. I think your video was up tomorrow. So, like I said, there are some spoilers here. Okay, one, two, three, four. Four and five, I feel like I'm the count. And a foil and... So that brings up the question, when are we going to see Magic Sesame Street or Magic uh, Monopoly? It's only a matter of time, right? All right, Peter, we have Travelling Philosopher, Raven Wings, Dwarven Reinforcements, Goldmore Champion, Drudge Skeletons from 8th edition, Easy Prey, Essior, Wardwing Familiar, Kolfner, The Last You, Extra Rare there, Axeguard Armory, Sifter Worm, oh nice, Foil Mecha Godzilla Battle Fortress. So this is the alternate for the Hangerback Walker, fantastic. And the rare is Icebreaker Kraken. And David says, if that happens, I'm done with magic. At that point, it's like, you know how you see all the, the Monopoly, everything in the store? It's like, really? I mean, I guess that's one way of squeezing revenue out of the brand. Alrighty, next up, who do we have? Let's go through these ones here. Oh, Will Trice hit the jackpot this month, so I, I'm pretty sure I didn't put any other uh, things on the order of scroll rack in here, so he is doing pretty well this month. Peter says he remembers playing the Hobbit on the ZX 48K, five minute load time between screens. Oh, was that a tape drive? 
I think it was, I think I had the PC version of The Hobbit. It must have been PC, because I don't remember having it for, I used to have an Amstrad before that. Okay, Will Trice. We have Skitter Eel. Didn't say please. Pilfering Hawk. A retin form. Fire Fiend Elemental. Pouncing Shore Shark. So I'm guessing also known as like a land shark. Glimpse the Cosmos. Rune of Might. Cunning Breeze Dancer. Iridescent Horn Beetle. Foil. Spell Snuff. And the rare. Oh, creepy as. Grave Crawler. Okay, so this one, Innistrad, one of the creepier artworks. I actually did, uh, I think that made my top 10 creepiest magic artwork. I did a whole video on that last Halloween. All right, enjoy the pools there, Will. And Dambeast117 says, are you guys excited for the Godzilla vs. Kong movie? So this is the, the reboot, right? The follow-on um, Godzilla, King of the Monsters. I think that was one I watched last year. That was actually better than I expected, actually. All right, we have Trent T up next. Foil, nice. Welcome, Jonathan Gaither. So one... Two, three, four, and five. Four, out. four loading scenes were long enough. Oh my god. Some of those newer games uh, take forever to load, especially if you don't have an SSD drive. A foil and rare or mythic. Okay, Trent, what do we got? Mortal's Arda, Marauding Blight Priest, Survey the Wreckage, Grim Guardian, Infectious Bloodlust, Imperious Perfect, Armorcraft Judge, Glowstone Recluse, Gates of Istfel, whoop, I'm skipping straight to the rare, Lightning Greaves, so nice pull there for Commander, Foil Oathkeeper, Dakinu's Daisho, Nice one. And Teferi's Puzzle Box from 8th edition. You might recognize some of these cards from the One of Every Pack series. So I like to sprinkle those through the boxes as I go along. All right, looks like we have 23 people here, but only 12 thumbs up. Let's get a few more thumbs up there, thanks. Okay, who else is in the chat? I'm seeing... Okay. Oh, here we go. Here's some some valued viewers and patrons. Let's go with Daniel T. He gets a rock. Congratulations, Daniel. Enjoy your rock. Hope we can add something else. Let's get into this other box. That um, previous one's thinning out a bit, so we'll swap things around here. Three, four. Welcome, Jorge, from Mexico. So, five of those, and then the uncommons. One, two, three, four, and five. I wonder if I put the, you know, that rock-throwing goblin. I wonder if he's in here. That would be pretty funny if we pulled him. I think he is an uncommon. All right, Daniel, what do we got to go along with your rock? We have SWAT. Scour from Existence, Crushing Vines, Selesnya Sentry, Loam Dryad, Arcane Signet, nice one. Burning Anger, Phyrexian Ingester, Enclave Cryptologist, Thirst for Knowledge, Foil Esper Sojourners, and the rare is Sigil Tracer. All right, so no goblins there, but still enjoy your rock, Daniel. 
I think you got some other goodies in there as well. Okay, next up we have Kyo Pastrolin Trindade. Thank you for being a patron. So, going hunting here. So, that maybe that's our quest for this video will be, can we find the rock-throwing goblin, assuming I actually put him in here. Okay, uncommons, one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, and uh, let's see. So, uh, 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 and a foil and rare or mythic. Okay, so Kyo, let's check it out. We've got a Howling Golem. Run away together. Academy Raider Mugging. Smoke Spew Invoker. That's like a heavy metal album cover right there. Fathom Fleet Swordjack. Tajana Swordsmith. Storm Chaser Chimera. Scholar of the Ages. Nessian Wilds Ravager, Extra Rare, Boreal Druid, Foil, and Destroyer. Perfect life form. Another one for the Godzilla fans out there. So this is the variant, the very cool variant for the Everquill Phoenix. I think I prefer this one, actually. All right, so enjoy those, Kao. And next up, we have a, another new patron, Julio Ramos. Thank you for being a patron Got the signed jackalope herd there. So one, two. And commons. And if you're just tuning in, this is Harry Arm Vision. We pull pieces of cardboard out of boxes for your viewing enjoyment. And a foil. And rare or mythic. All right, Julio, what do we have here? We've got Cleansing Ray, Brazen Freebooter, Spore Cap Spider, Razor Barrier, Rakdos Clue Stone, Port of Carfell, Cast Down, Shimamir, Reclamation Sage, Revenant, Oh, another Mecha Godzilla Battle Fortress. Nice. Oh, welcome back. Okay, so this must have been one of the uh, promos. And Plague of Vermin. All right. And what on earth is that set symbol? One of the older ones. I do remember pulling this. I think it was last week. But yeah, can't remember which symbol that was. All right. Enjoy the pulls, Julio. Next up. We have Greg Richards. Thank you for being a patron. And he does get a shiny goblin. So still hunting for the rock-throwing goblin. What is it? Togo? Is that the one? Or is it a different goblin from Commander Legends, I think? So five there. One, two... Three, four, and one more here. And a foil. And rare or mythic. Okay, Greg, what goodness will we find in this snack pack? We've got shielding plaques. Pressure point. Oh, ding, 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 ding. Wild card has been pulled. All right, so... Grabbing a standard pack for you. We'll get into that momentarily. Uh, Dr. Raven says Shadow Moor was that last card that we looked at with the set symbol. Yep, okay. Thank you very much. Early Frost, Mana Skeleton, Rogren Crystal, Battle for Bredegard, Extra Rare, Another Extra Rare, Bruder Clad, Telcor Engineer, Split Card, Depose and Deploy. Reckless Scholar, Foil Satessan Petitioner, and a Mythic. Yes, Borderless, the Royal Scions. All right, Will and Rowan from uh, Throne of Eldraino. 
Okay, let's get into this pack for Greg. So we can already see nothing from the list in this one, unfortunately. So Nafi Betrayer King, I think that's who that is. Quick check. Yes, it is. Snow Covered Swamp. We'll throw that in as well. Run Ashore. Strategic Planning. Miss of Litjara. Brian Barrow Intruder. A Null. What am I skipping here? The Trickster God's Heist. Divine Gambit. Spectral Steel. Egon, God of Death, is your first rare. Whoop. And spin that around. We have Throne of Death on the other side. And the second rare here is Valkyrie Harbinger. And that's another one. I can't remember if I had that in the... Maybe that was in my Angel deck. There's so many Angels at this point. And Foil Poison the Cup. Along with a magic mini game, strictly better. Okay, so I'll throw all this stuff in there for Greg. I think he did pretty well this month. All right, let's rearrange things here. Okay, next up. We have Lear Guru. Thank you for being a patron. And actually, that that one's I think is another spoiler. So, so if you're watching Lear, pretend you didn't see that card on the front of the envelope there. And grabbing the uncommons two three. Four and five, all right. And foil, rare or mythic. All right, Leah, what is inside? We have Sift, Roving Keep, Battering Craghorn, another one with a set symbol. Um, what, are, what is that? Oh, I can't, I can't think of it. Is it in this, the same block that we had Scourge? I think. Ill-Tempered Cyclops, Impetuous Sun Chaser, Tired Hollow Sculler, Blister Coil Weird, Clone Extra Rare, Misform Stalker, Stitch Together, Foil Namana Skitter Sneak, and the rare is Glamour Die. All right, so we'll pop those in there. Yeah, so more patron videos tomorrow. There's two more tomorrow, and then that is it for the month. <laughs> yeah, don't rewind. Just, just pretend, I mean, it was a good card, all right? So next up, we have Tony Siriani. Thank you for being a patron. Welcome to Canadian Ham. And let me guess, you have a, a brother called Canadian Bacon. Or maybe not. And why do I hear crickets? Okay, moving on to the uncommons. So there we go. And a foil. Yes, I was right. Excellent. All right, Tony. Let's get into the good stuff here. Chirp, chirp, chirp. Uh, yeah, you, you might have noticed I make the lamest jokes on this channel. That's It brings me great joy to make lame jokes. If I'm laughing, that's the only thing that matters. Farhaven Elf, Ambush Viper, Servant of Neferox, Leaf Crown Dryad, Death Curse Ogre, Kanji's Lieutenant, Griffin Airy, McKindy Maces, with the McKinney Stampede on the other side. Kraken's Eye. I want to know who removed that eye from the Kraken. That seems, looks like some sort of mechanical thing. All right. Uncontrollable Anger. Foil Trained Condor. And a Mythic. The Magic Mirror. Enjoy, Tony. 
Okay, pop that in there for Tony. Who is next? Who will get their crazy pulls? It is Devin Wise. Thank you for being a patron. One, two, three, four, and five. Yeah, a little bit quicker now that the box has thinned out some. And a foil. And rare or mythic. All right, Devon. We have Thorn of the Black Rose, Inferno Fist, Pyre Hound, chosen by Heliod, Nim Shrieker. Arnie slays the troll. Um, so was that a fantasy movie follow-up to Conan, perhaps? Hondon of Infinite Rage, patron of the Valiant Shepherd of the Cosmos, Grave Digger, Foil Mace Lynx, and another mythic Seagate Restoration with the Seagate Reborn on the other side. Fantastic pull there for Devon. Pop those in there. Who is next? It is Chris Dunaway. We have another Monarch, and we may be setting up a sort of a Game of Thrones scenario here. Two Monarchs in one video. I don't know what's going to happen there. They tend to get angry at each other and have epic battles. Three, four, and five. Okay, and a foil... And rare or mythic. Okay, Chris, the monarch. Your Royal Highness, what do we get? Rummaging Goblin. Scathe Zombies, that's pretty cool. Seventh edition. Corridor Monitor. Carrion Feeder. Another seventh edition. Spitting Earth. Merfolk Falconer. Forging the Tyrite Sword. Ixalan's Binding. Drari Ruins on the other side. We've got the Drari Disruption. Wind Dancer. Foil Rare Sweet Gum Recluse. And Rare is Stormwing Entity from M21. So enjoy that, Chris the Monarch. Your Royal Highness. Okay, next up we have Justice Catron. Thank you for being a patron. Digging into the box here. Okay, and a foil. Let's go in here. And rare or mythic. Okay, justice. We have Acacian Crier, Thornado, Trumpet Blast, Fearless Pup, Solemn Offering, Blood Sky Berserker, Codex Shredder. Pen and Blade, Dissipate, Feast on the Fallen, Gruesome, A Foil, Timeret, Chosen from Death, and the rare is Regna the Redeemer, and that's one that partners with Crab the Unredeemed from Battle Bond, which reminds me, I wonder if they're going to do a Battle Bond 2 at some point, maybe they'll do that next year, they seem to like revisiting ideas they've had. Thanks for dropping by, David Hoffman. Okay, scooping this stuff up here. And we had a question in the chat. White border or black border, which do you prefer? So for me at least, I would say black border, definitely. The white borders are okay, but... They, the problem with the white borders is over time you can get some discoloring. Uh, they tend to show dust and dirt a little more. So that's the, the downside. Aesthetically, I think they're pretty good otherwise if you pull them straight out of the pack. 
All right, next up we have F.A. Yums. Thank you for being a patron. And yes, you did get a Voren Clex this month. Congratulations. So let's uh, see what else we can add here. And I think you just joined. Yeah, you're in the chat there. So hope we can get something nice for you here. And grabbing a foil. And rare or mythic. Okay, FA, what do we got? Amorphous Axe. Titanic Growth. Treetop Scout. For a second I thought that was going to be a Jackalope Herd. Void Mage Apprentice. Ivy Lane Denizen. Mindless Automaton. Pestilent Haze. Dwarven Hammer. Dreamstone Hedron, Scroll of the Masters, extra rare, nice. Foil rare, Demonic Embrace with the Borderless. And the rare is Timber Crown Pathway with the Crag Crown Pathway on the other side. So some nice pulls there. Not quite up to the Vorinclex level, but still something nice to add to your collection. Next up. We have Benjamin Sullivan. Thank you for being a patron. He got something real shiny this month too. And the uncommons. And grabbing a foil here. And a rare or mythic. All right, Benjamin, we have Crushing Vines. Festive Funeral, Iron Shell Beetle. Lava Step Raider, Creature Goblin Warrior. Guild Scorn Ward, Spoils of Adventure with the party mechanic here. That will probably be a big thing in the D&D set. Carter's Vicious Return. Demonic Law, Crystal Ball, Doomscar Titan, Foil, Seagate, Colossus, and the rare is Yorion Sky Nomad. Okay, so there we are, Benjamin, enjoy. Damn Beast 117, when did you last buy a Chaos Mystery Box, the bad ones? So you mean, you mean there were actually bad Chaos Mystery Boxes? I don't think so, sir. Oh, you mean the, <laughs> you mean the uh, Walmart variety? I haven't seen them around in probably a year and a half or so. It's, it's probably been about a year since we've opened one. We have done the, um, they've changed the packaging. They've made them look like uh, Mystery Boosters now. Um, so we did open some of those. I think we opened two on New Year's Day and we did another couple later in January, I'm going to say. So those are pretty much what you'd expect. Nothing, nothing up to the caliber of the MTG Unpacked ones. Okay, Ryan Wilson, you're up next. Thank you for being a patron. Three... Four and five. Yes, I buy that junk so you don't have to. You can see what's inside and then you shrug and go, oh, okay, that wasn't that exciting. And the funny thing is I have been watching, um, I get these recommendations from YouTube. There was this uh, Yu-Gi-Oh box, a... Uh, like a mystery box thing. That looked like it had more value than the magic one. So, you know, things are pretty bad when the, even the Yu-Gi-Oh boxes have better value. Okay, next up we have Finn Clade Fugitives. Ancient Animus, Mystic Sanctuary, Elf Replica, Clinging Anemones, Rubble Belt Rioters, Mystic Repeal, Guafa Hazid, Profiteer, Extra Rare, Another extra rare, Dread Horde Invasion. Another extra rare, what is happening? Umbra Stalker. Foil rare, Solemn Simulacrum with the alternate art. 
Borderless and Varagoth Blood Sky Sire for the showcase artwork. Nice one. All right, so enjoy the pulls there, Ryan. Thank you once again. Next up, we have Casper Berberich. Thank you for being a patron. <laughs> Dr. Raven says, uh, let the chaos box up to the pros. Yes, leave it to the pros and you'll get some crazy pulls there. So guaranteed premium foil in those. None of this, uh, what do they put in them? The, um, that Sphinx or the Dinosaur. I forget the names. I have like piles of those at this point. But they're buried in bulk boxes where they belong. Okay, Casper. What do we have here? We've got a Pilgrim's Eye. Not a Kraken's Eye, but a Pilgrim's Eye. That was the one, Matteo. Guaranteed Atali, pretty much, in those Walmart mystery boxes. So we've got the Pilgrim's Eye, Angel's Mercy, Tangle Asp, Lightning Elemental, 8th Edition, Frogmite, Carter, Doom Scourge, Poliwog Symbiote, Wall of Swords, 8th Edition, Divine Gambit, Cloud Reach Cavalry, Foil Shock, and a Mythic, yes, Resplendent Marshall, nice one. So another one you might consider in an Angel deck. I think I, I either had that in an early build of that one or I removed it. I'm, I can't remember which, which one actually aired. Okay, Constantine, you're up next. So... You had your video this morning. Hopefully you got to watch that. Enjoy that. And now we will be putting together your snack pack. Okay, grabbing the foil, the rare or mythic. All right, Constantine, what do we got? We got a Cage of Hands, Garambrig Carver, Two-Headed Cerberus, better than one apparently, Predatory Sliver, Aether Chaser, Journey to Oblivion, True Fire Paladin, Thundering Rebuke, Student of Elements, and this is one of these flip card things here, Tobita, Master of Winds, so it turns into a legendary creature from a Kamigawa block. Call of the Death Dweller. Intruder Alarm Foil. And Lotus Cobra Showcase. Nice one. Okay, so pop that in there. Alrighty. Next, we have Travis Henderson. Thank you for being a patron So I guess what Trevor was on the uh, Commander tier this month. We crack a uh, bunch of packs and we also highlight the Commander that the Patron chooses. Okay, five there, foil. All right, Travis. Web Swap, Fairy Guide Mother, Defy Gravity, Merfolk Spy, Dogged Pursuit, Icebreaker Kraken. There he is. Wonder if he lost his eye from that other card. Gore Clan Rampager, Ingenuity Engine, Desperate Ravings, Volcanic Torrent, Foil Lucky Clover. Nice and a mythic. Nissa of Shadowed Bowels, welcome to the live stream, Nissa. Pop that in there for Travis. Some fantastic pulls this month so far. All right, let's scoop this stuff up. And next we have Adam Fleischer, who also, this is what you get from my Chaos Boxes. Check it out. Isn't that incredible? Okay, one 
two, three, four, and five. Okay. And a foil and rare or mythic. All right, Adam. So check it out. We got better revelation, supernatural stamina, ancient stirrings, override, armored cancrix, elite guard mage, enemy of enlightenment, faith's fetters, extra rare foyers, retribution, sky marcher aspirant. Inquisitive Puppet Foil and the... It's a Mythic! Showcase Mythic Morog Fury of Akum. So we were just talking about Minotaurs earlier. So pretty tasty pull there. Pop that in there for Adam. Yeah, I mean, if you're gonna um, get one of the promos, the Itali... I would rather have the Itali than the um, Sphinx. I think the Atali is a lot more useful and cooler looking card as well. Okay, Devin B, you're up next. Thank you for being a patron. So, yeah, a lot of these um, chaos things you'll see. So, we did the mono blue was the theme this month. Next month, we have a totally different theme again. So I try to mix things up each month so you're not just getting the same thing. We did uh, early on which maybe we'll revisit that at some point. We did Planeswalkers. So we had all different foils for particular Planeswalkers. So that was fun. I'm not sure if that... I'd have to check. I'm not sure if that will be possible these days. The prices on a lot of Planeswalkers has gone way up. All right. Next up we have Prismite. Fire Diamond... Patron of the Wild, that's very much on theme. Mark the Vampire with a crown. Strength of the Pack. Fibble Thip the Lost, but we found him extra rare. Hooded Blight Fang. This one's pretty cool in the Death Touch decks. I think, uh, yeah, I think this was the one um, I had in the Poison deck. We did a Golgari Poison deck tech. So it does a lot of good work in that one. Arrogant Bloodlord. Thopter Foundry, Foil Agonizing Remorse, and another Mythic Cavalier of Thorns. What is happening here? So many Mythics. All right, enjoy, Devon. Pop those in there for you. Okay, next up, <laughs> this is a fun one. Mark S. Baker, he got the one with nothing. So you did get a bit more than nothing. Hopefully we can add even more goodness to your pack there. And has anyone actually played with that card? Is there some win condition or strange combo where discarding your hand? I guess if you're... Maybe if you're um, doing like a, a zombie tribal and you're trying to fill your graveyard, that could be helpful. And then just bring them back. Um, was it the Scarab God? Was that the one? Was that the one that can bring them back as 4-4 uh, zombies or something? So I'm sure there are uses, but it just when you first read it, you're like one black mana to discard your hand. Okay, interesting. All right, we have Roaming Ghost Light. Flight from 8th edition, Aqueous Form, Mental Agony. Amru Scout, Divine Deflection, so extra rare there. Fearless Liberator, Ricochet Trap, Saheli Sublime Artificer, Law Seeker, another extra rare. Foil, Miara, Thorn of the Glade, and another Mythic, Riku of Two Reflections. Fantastic. From Double Masters. All right. So there we are, Mark. Okay, next up we have Sam Kirk. Thank you for being a patron. Mm. 
and on to the foliage. Yeah, seriously, mythic madness today. Must have had a lot of extra mythics laying around or something, and they're not not all of those are cheap. Like I try to keep everything in this slot at least a dollar or above, but there's some juicy goodness in there. All right, we have Cleric of the Ford Order, Squad Captain, Ferris Band Centaurs, Regathan Firecat, Craven Hulk the Giant Coward, Ascended Law Mage, Confiscate, Sarah Angel, Rain of Blades, Archon of Justice, an extra rare foil, Sifter Worm, and rare is Sirtland Flinger. This is fun. I think this is the one I've been trying in the Giant deck. Uh, so, whenever it attacks, you may sack another creature. When you do, it deals damage equal to the sacrificed creature's power to any target. And if the sacrificed creature was a giant, here's the kicker. Sirtland Flinger deals twice that much damage instead. So, flinging giants is a great deal of fun. Pop that in there for Sam. Next up, we have Squirrel with the very cool Rat Rogue Rat Shaman combo there. So that was one of the commander snacks we did. Uh, I think it was during the week. And the uncommons. And where are the wild cards? It's been a while since we've seen one of those. Thought I would have pulled another one by now. Okay, so we get a foil here and rare or mythic. All right, squirrel. We have Jeskai Wind Scout, Saruf's Packmate, Satessan Battle Priest, Clutch of Current, Seventh Edition Scathe Zombies again, Giant Opportunity, Obstinate Baloth, Extra Rare. Meteor Golem, Crimson Mage, Water Servant, Foil, Vow of Torment, and another Mythic. What? God Eternal Kefnet. Was I in my right mind when I was putting these cards in here? Okay, Squirrel, congratulations. Enjoy your Mythic God Pool there. Okay, next up. Oh, this one cracks me up. Tyson R... Look at that face. Amiibo Changeling. This is how I look in the morning. I look in the mirror and I go, oh my God, what am I looking at? Uh, that's usually, it's usually the worst on a Monday morning. You're like, ugh, I don't even look human. I look like a changeling. Four and five, okay. And grabbing, let's grab a foil from the middle and a rare or mythic. Oh my god, I got a peek at that. I wonder if you did as well. Okay, this is another spicy one. Tyson R, uh, let's go. We got Orcish Spy. Oh, Gnarled Sage, yes. Eighth edition Orcish Spy. Culling Drone, Gluttonous Slug. Be warned, he has ruined many a live stream. I don't know if that will happen, so if your connection is stuttering, it's probably this bloke. Sorry about that. Volatile Fjord, Crystal Rod from 8th edition, War Chanter Skald, Skyclave Plunder, Honden of Infinite Rage. Didn't know we had another one in there. Notvold, Slumber Mound, Foil, Liliana's Steward, and a Mythic, Alrund, God of the Cosmos Showcase. And on the other side, we have Hacker Whispering Raven. Another fantastic pull. Goes along nicely with your changeling there. Okay, next we have Chad O. Thank you for being a patron. Digging into the box again.
and a foil and rare or dare I say it maybe another mythic we've had a bit of a run of those okay Chad we have universal solvent Kraken hatchling before he lost his eye servant of Timorat. seventh edition island very tasty Lockthwain paladin Wandermare invasion of the giants Spring Mantle Cleric, Ill-Gotten Gains, Extra Rare, Fearless Liberator, Foil, Honey Mammoth, and another Mythic. Holy moly. Okay. Harmonious Archon with the Borderless. Nice pulls again. All right. Pop those in there. Let's move this stuff aside. Who is up next? Okay, next we have Prism Puppy. Thank you for being a patron. another foil and at this point I might have just might as well just say grabbing another mythic it's probably a mythic maybe it isn't we'll see we have war behemoth amorphous axe death bellow raider another minotaur satyr wayfinder ghoul callers chant from Innistrad shimmermere mind culling Clone Shell, Telekinetic Bonds, Extra Rare, Plague Reaver, Foil, Golem Skin, Gauntlets, and the Rare, Droma the Banisher. Okay, so not a Mythic this time, but still a tasty Dragon pull there. Legendary Dragon, enjoy Prism Puppy. Next up, it's Eric Palanco. Yes, he did get the Jace Mystical Tutor, Tutor variant. Welcome, Nick. I don't remember doing your snap pack yet, so it might be good timing. I'll have to check momentarily. And a foil and rare or mythic. All right. We have Roving Keep. Redeem from 8th edition, Wormskin Forger, another 8th edition, Catalog, Mammoth Growth, Path to the World Tree, Extra Rare, Showcase, Skyclave Shade, Marrow Shards, Fathom Fleet, Swordjack, Allied Reinforcements, oh nice, Foil Rare, Savai Triome, not a mythic, but we'll take that for sure. And the rare is Hagra Mauling with the borderless variety with Hagra Brood Pit on the other side. Okay, so the Triome, I think that is definitely a win there for Eric. Moving on, we have Matteo Vanti. Thank you for being a patron. Let's go digging into the box here. And a foil and rare or mythic. All right, Matteo. We have Monastery Flock, Divination, Tangle Bloom, Rubble Belt Marker, Pride Guardian, Gerard Capuchin. Oh, extra rare. Blood Artist. Okay, there's a nice one. Tide Force Elemental, Glimpse the Cosmos. Another rare, Sigrid God Favoured, Foil Slurk All Ingesting Ooze, 
And rare is Jessica's Will. All right. So enjoy the pools there. Mateo, thank you once again for being a patron. Dead Eyes Dimension asks, would it be better to buy a Kaldheim set boost box or draft boost box? It depends what you're doing. If you are um, if you are doing drafting, obviously you have to get the draft booster box. If you are just opening packs, definitely the set boosters are the way to go. Okay, Ryan Hoffman got his god pool this month. See if we can get him another. And a foil and rare or mythic. Could be a mythic. No guarantees, but it could be a mythic. Okay, Captain's Call, Rupture Spire, Frozen Solid, Cliffside Lookout, Hired Torturer, Mind Carver, Vow of Flight, Kemba's Legion, Pen and Blade, Venerable Knight, Foil, Rare, Emberwild, Captain, and Varagoth, Blood Sky Sire. It's not a mythic, but still a very solid rare. Okay, pop those in there for Ryan. Okay, so let's see here. Here we go. All right. Um, just checking. There are a couple of patrons here. We'll see if we can get through those. All right. So next up, Nick T with the Foil Goblin. All right. Thank you for being a patron. for Nick. Let's check it out. So we have Bloodfell Caves. Ear Splitting Rats. Delightful. Welcome MTG Hermit. And I don't think I've done your snap pack yet. So excellent timing. This is a fun card. I'm still working on the Rat Tribal Deck Tech. I'm hoping to do that this weekend. I'll probably have the video up next week. It's sort of dumb, but you know, rats, it's fun and dumb at the same time. We got Skyreach Manta, Kitsune Blade Master, Mending Touch, Slaughter the Strong, Abomination of Lanoir, Dovin's Veto, Provoke the Trolls, no, what are you doing? Don't do it. Coombudge Witches, Foil Dire Fleet Hoarder. And the rare is Spike Weaver. Nice. And this is from the list. What is that? Exodus, I think. So enjoy the pulls there, Nick. Okay, next up we have Tommy. Thank you for being a patron. And I think Tommy became a new channel member today. So thank you very much. MTG Hermit has a rat, rat deck in the works as well. Yeah, there's only so many rats. Um, so I'm going to go historic. I used to have a standard. We did a standard one way back when the rats were in standard rat colony. Um, but yeah, the new one, just the recipe. Throw in tons of rats. And then you want to make sure you can pick your opponent's hand clean if there's anything that could uh, wipe out those little rats of yours. That's pretty much the game plan. And then unblockable. Yeah, Relentless Rats, those guys are not in Historic, I don't think, yet. I wish they would put them in there, though. All right. Scout the Borders, Barbarian Bully, Village Rights, Dragon Shadow, Doomscar Oracle, Jared Cathalion, True Air, Extra Rare, Amara Mystic, Treasure Mage, 
Egar, the Freezing Flame, Lightning Rig Crew. Oh, Foil Island. Nice steal. And the rare is Ambassador Laquatis. Okay, and what is that? This is like play the set symbol guessing game. So, yeah, I can't remember. I did pull this one recently, though, straight from the pack. So a nice pack, fresh vintage card there for you, Tommy. Enjoy. All right, scooping them up. Yeah, at some point, I don't know if they'll ever go uh, modern with historic, if that will evolve into modern, probably not. Seems like there's so many cards to to program. It gives me a headache just thinking about it because I do software for a living and I don't know how they do it, to be honest, how they keep up. It seems like a bit of a nightmarish schedule. All right, MTG Hermit, thank you for being a patron. Let's move over to this other box here. They're both thinning out now, so maybe we'll find a... Uh, Another wild card here. We didn't seem to have much luck with the other one. Torment. Okay, Torment was for the Ambassador Laquatus. That's the one. Okay, so five of these. And foil and rare. Okay. Mr. Hermit, what will we get for you this month? We got an accomplished automaton. Fearsome Temper, Kazandu Stomper, Font of Ire, Runner's Bane, Zara Renegade Recruiter, extra rare here. Oh, Rudy video popped up. Everyone's going to leave. Tell me if it's any good. Kanji's Lieutenant. Maya Bretagard Protector, even Sunstriker. Um, oh, standard pack. Nice. Okay, so that worked out well. So we'll set that aside. The wild card has been pulled for you, MTG Hermit. There we go. Get that ready. A foil mythic. Sen triplets. Another crazy addition to the box. And another mythic. Massacre Worm. Love it. Look at the artwork. Look at that face. It's when I'm cleaning my teeth, I go, yeah, look at those pearly whites. Fantastic. MTG Hermit, you have done very nicely. Okay, let's see what we can get out of the cow time box here. Like, I know you've been a patron for forever, and I don't remember pulling too many uh, wild cards for you in that time. So, congratulations. All right, so we've got a... No idea. With a pet wolf and bear. What is that? Kovori, god of kinship. Okay, makes sense. Throw in the snow-covered island. We get a death knell berserker. Odafang disciple. Feed the serpent. Yala the forsaken. Way down. Wither crown. Blizzard brawl. Spirit of the older guard. And another mythic. What is happening? Orva, the old form. Holy moly, you've got like three mythics here this month. Okay, and, okay, nothing else there. Grim Draugr, Foil, Shimmer, Drift, Veil. Vale. Will we get anything from the list? No, but you do get a Magic Minigame Booster Sleuth. Okay, so let's go through here. I think my favorite would have to be... Never mind the Orvar, I'm all about the Massacre Worm. That is just awesome. All right, enjoy the pools there, MTG Hermit. Set this aside. Next up, we have Brian Simmons. Thank you for being a patron. Seriously, he's making up for lost pools in the past. MTG Hermit had a fantastic month. Okay, so Brian, so we've got three, four, and five, and uncommons, one, two, three, four, and five, and a foil, 
And rare or mythic. Okay, then. Brian, we have out muscle. Stand firm. Kami of Fire's Roar. Erratic Mutation. What? I don't even remember that one. Grixis Illusionist. Noxious Dragon. Kanji's Lieutenant. Merchant Raiders. Port of Carfell. Burning Yard Trainer. Foil Essence Scatter. And the rare is Rocks Faith Mender. How many lotto tickets should I buy? <laughs> buy some, um, uh, what are those things? Uh, uh, Double Masters VIP boxes. Just Or just buy one, and then that, that should be enough. On second thoughts, that could be a tremendously bad idea. Moving on, we have Jonathan Vogel saying, thank you for being a patron. And speaking of Jessica, we've got another Jessica there. Was that the one... I think that was the video where we had Jessica pulls. It was insane. We got, had the commander and we pulled one out of the pack. Could not believe it. Was that Commander Legends, I'm going to say? I think was the, the Jessica Planeswalker. And a... Foil, and let's grab a rare here for Jonathan. We have Corridor Monitor. Keep Watch. Astral Steel, Horizon Seeker. Crashing Drawbridge. Aphemia the Cacophony. Okay, extra rare. Deathless Ancient. Worst Claw, Elemental Horror. Vow of Flight, Siani Eye of the Storm. Foil Imperious Perfect. And the rare is Dranith Magistrate from Ikoria. So there we go. Jonathan, pop those in here to add to your collection. Next up we have Mark McGrain. Thank you for being a patron. So you might notice his uh, sleeve there is empty because we did a uh, bundle for him. Kaldheim bundle. So I'll be adding these cards to his bundle box and shipping that off to him shortly. Two, three, four, and five. And a foil and, dare I say, a mythic. All right, Mark, we've got Flutterfox, Forever Young. Savage Surge, Naturalize 8th Edition, Custody Squire, Divine Reckoning for the extra rare there, Kumbaj Witches, Trigon of Thought, Bloodline Pretender, Hailstorm Valkyrie, Foil, Charcoal Diamond, and the rare, okay, not a mythic, but I do love this artwork, the Omen Kill. And on the other side, we have Cosima, God of the Voyage. Okay, so it was a god pool at least. So we've got a showcase. So enjoy, Mark. Thank you for being a patron once again. And next up, Emblazoned Aegis. Also did well from the Chaos Boxes this month. Let's see what else we can add. And uncomments. One, two, three... Four and five, and a foil here. Rare or mythic. All right, Emblazoned Aegis. We have Crashing Drawbridge. Foreboding Fruit. Leonin Squire. Infernal Pet. Rootborn Defenses. Valkyrie's Sword. Cranial Plating. Interesting artwork on that one. Spirit of the Older Guard. Pyroblast, the Trickster God's Heist, Foil Rare, Witchbane Orb, nice, and the rare is Glasspool Mimic. And on the other side, we've got the Glasspool Shore. So what are people thinking of these double-faced uh, cards? You've got a land on one side and a spell or creature on the other. Pretty versatile, I think. All right, Dylan Moore, you're up next. Thank you for being a patron. Uh, 
Okay, we've got the foil. And will it be a mythic this time? Let's keep our fingers crossed for Dylan. We've got Liliana's Steward. Might beyond reason. So it's more Innistrad goodness there. Berg Strata. Blinding Beam. Dismal Backwater. First Response. Viridian Rebel. Jeskai Elder. Kintry Invocation. Sundering Stroke. Extra Rare. Foil. Dranath Healer. And the rare is Pyroblast. Okay, so this is from the Chandra's Spork. Alternate Art. Very cool. So pop those in there for Dylan. All right, scooping it up. So we're getting down to the last handful of patrons here. Let's see. So we've got one, two, three, and four left. That's it. Okay. Let's dig in. See if we can find that last. There should be one more wild card in the box somewhere. We have Eric Cook. Thank you for being a patron. So if I remember, so I put two wild cards per box. I'm thinking the one we haven't pulled is in this box. Could be wrong, but uh, let's see. One, two, three and five and a foil and rare or mythic all right Eric let's check it out we got an ornithopter crew fixes insight consuming vortex nice seventh edition planes vent sentinel so Eleonora the discerning mirror shield Maya, Bretagard Protector, Thrasher Brute. Oh, nice. Obosh, the Prey Piercer. So an extra rare. We did a deck tech on this guy. I'm going to say that was... Was that last year? Or the year before? I can't remember. Foil, Sanctum of Calm Waters. And the rare is Horizon Stone. All right, so enjoy the pools there, Eric. Pop those in there for you. Next up, we have a new patron. It is Christopher Blue. Thank you for being a patron. And thank you for your patience if you're watching, whether you're watching live or on the replay. Three, four, five. And a set of uncommons. All right. So will we find a Mythic here? We had quite a run of them and then they seemed to dry up. Maybe I just kept pulling the Mythics out. We have Deranged Assistant, Sparring Collar, Hearth Kami. What on earth? Loving the intricate artwork on uh, these Kamigawa cards. Sunspire Gatekeepers, Iron Tread Crusher, Extra Daxos of My Lettuce, Revenant. Disruption Aura, Sandstone Oracle, Improbable Alliance Foil, Meteor Golem. And the rare is Varagoth Blood Sky Sire. All right, so we've pulled a couple of those out of the box. I think we had a uh, showcase variant. So very cool pull. And finally here we have the last patron, two snack packs. It is Hein Rogild. Thank you for being a patron. So hoping we can find that wild card right at the end here. If not, I'll probably just go ahead and open the pack anyway. Why not? That's what they're for. Okay, one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, and the foil. And rare or mythic. Let's go for Hein. What do we have? Driver of the Dead, Reckless Brute, Funeral Pyre, Suntail Hawk, Chartooth Cougar, Drainer the Last Blood Chief, Extra Mythic, Nice, Meteoric Mace, Talon of Pain, Planar Cleansing, Extra Rare, Another Extra Rare, Hall of Triumph, Foil Canopy Stalker, 
And Dire Fleet Daredevil is your rare. So at least you got one Mythic there. Not bad at all. Let's pop those in here. And finally, Hein Rogild is back for seconds. Very hungry patron indeed. Thank you once again for being a patron. Three, four, and five. Will we find a wild card right at the end? I hope so. And stay tuned. Next month is Time Spiral Remastered. So hopefully getting stuck into a box or so of that. Okay, hi, and we have Might of the Masses, Arcbound Worker, Simic Clue Stone, Drag Down, Crossroads Consecrator, Smiting Helix. MTG Hermit says, is anyone else excited for the upcoming Lord of the Rings MTG set or Commander decks? So we talked about that earlier. I think it's a bit of a mixed bag. People are hoping they really don't ruin magic, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. Vow of Lightning, Granite Shard, Keskit the Flesh Sculptor, Ancient Grudge, Foil Prismite, and Wargate is your rare. Okay, so... Pop those in there. And you know what? We have... Actually, I have two packs of Kaldheim left. Let's get stuck into them to finish things out. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings. And be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Okay, so we've got a Yawn, God of Winter... Let's move things around here. Ice Tunnel. Carfell Kennelmaster. Skull Raid. Grim Draugr. Draugr Thought Thief. Carter's Vicious Return. Port of Carfell. The Three Seasons. Path to the World Tree. Ooh, what is this? Nice! Alrun's Epiphany. Holy moly. Excellent. So the borderless there, fantastic. I don't think I've even pulled this card at all. So that one is excellent indeed. Pilfering Hawk, Foil Draugr Recruiter, and oh, Wayfarer's Bauble from the list. Nice, so I'll chuck that straight into the box here. Okay, and next, one more pack. Hoping for some final pack magic here. So, I'm not sure what that is. That is what? Glittering Frost. Snow Covered Forest. Draugr Recruiter. Dogged Pursuit. Dread Rider. Priest of the Haunted Edge. Village Rites. Infernal Pet. Raise the Draugr, Burial Outrider. Oh, nice, another good one. The World Tree is the rare. And will we get another one? We do not. Frost Peak Yeti, Foil Demon Bolt. And that's it. All right, so there we have it. Another Patron Snap Pack live stream for February 2021. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope everyone's having a fantastic weekend. Stay tuned for more spicy goodness. So we've got two more patron videos coming up tomorrow. And then a whole lot of craziness next month. Like I said, getting stuck into the antiquities, legends, the dark, and all of that old stuff towards the end of the month. So stay tuned. Hope everyone's staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.